In this video of LinkedIn marketing course, I'm going to explain you the basic difference between matched audience, lookalike audience and saved audience. So these are three different types of audiences which we create on the LinkedIn platform in order to run ads, right? Now you might get confused at what is the difference between these three types of audiences. So let's directly jump into my LinkedIn platform and I'll make you understand about these audiences. So guys, as you can see right now, I am in campaign manager of my LinkedIn account. Now here you'll be able to see that I am in the campaign group option. And now if I want to create a campaign by, uh, I can create a campaign by just clicking on this button. I can create a campaign group. I can create a even campaign. I can even create an account as well. But what are the chances of getting good results by creating these campaigns, by creating campaign groups or whatever I, uh, whatever. I'm creating right the chances of getting good results is to select good audience now we were talking about three audiences like the first one is matched audience the second one is lookalike audience and the third one is saved audience so let's let's start with the matched audience first right so for that to find out the matched audience option you need to go to the plan section of this left hand side menu when you click on this you'll be able to see the audiences option click on this and here, when you click on this uh, audiences option, by default, you are into the matched audience. Now, if you haven't created any matched audience, you'll be able to see that create audience button over here. Now, if you click on this, we'll be able to see that these are the conditions or these are the options which we can use in order to create matched audience. Now, you need to understand that matched audience is like the condition you are applying in order to generate a set amount of audience. Let's say you have some offline data. Let's say you have an offline store or offline uh, outlet where tons of data has been collected. You have been collecting the data of your customers, of your clients on a regular basis. And now you have a good amount of data. So what you can do is you can upload that offline data into this a campaign manager account and that data will be known as your matched audience because that is kind of a custom data which you have created now same as the offline event you can go with the company details or uh, individual context let's say you have different different company details let's say uh, you have uh, one hundred thousands of company details right so what you can do is you can upload those company details or those contact details into your campaign manager and that list of contact details or company details will known as your matched audience or you can say custom audience in the language of facebook right so in facebook we call it custom audience and in linkedin we call it matched audience so there are many other conditions as well like by retarget it as you can see let me scroll a little bit so here are other conditions which you can apply in order to create your own matched audience let's say you have connected your website right uh, now i'm going with the targeted by option so you have connected your website now obviously uh, your audience or the traffic will visit your website they will make some purchase or they will add the product into the cart if it is an e-commerce website now the thing is that people is visiting your website and they are doing activities in your website and doing or engaging with the website right so obviously you will gather their data you will have their data so what you can do is you can directly pull that data from your website to your campaign manager and if that audience is available on linkedin you can show your ad to that particular audience and this list will known as the matched audience right so this is how or this is what matched audiences right as you can see here different types of options we have from upload a list to targeted by right in create we do have this different thing like lookalike and predictive we'll talk about this later but right now i'm talking about the matched audience only right so let's say uh, i'm going to create i want to create a matched audience list and using the same condition which i told you right now with the website so here 
when I select the website, obviously I need to select the name of this audience. So I'll write website visitors. Right now, when did they engage? So when did they engage with my website? So uh, 14 days last past 14 days or last 14 days, you can say last 30 days, last 60, last 90 and last 180 days. So whatever the timing suits you, you can select it. Let's say I want to go with past 90 days. And now which web page do you want to create your audience form from? Basically, if I show you my website, it is getting loaded. Now this is my website. So this is the home page of my website, obviously, right? Now let's say if I want to get the data of this web pages link only. So basically, uh, people who have visited my groceries section, right? Them I want to or whom I want to target. So what I'm going to do is I can just copy this link. I can go to this audiences section and I can go with the equals to option and I can add that link over here, which means if or the people who have visited this particular link, this particular link will be come under this website visitor list, which I'm creating right now, right? Now, let's say if I go with starts with now, if I remove this one, and leave it like this. This means URL in my website that starts with offerbazaar.store will be targeted. So it means kind of a whole website has been targeted, right? So this option is also available. Now, if the third option is contains, let's say you just want to target the URLs, which contains juice word in that uh, in the URL, right? So because I do have multiple options, like I do have orange juice, I do have many other juices, maybe I do have or maybe I don't have. Anyways, we are assuming that we do have multiple uh, products, multiple juices in our website, right? Now, so obviously those URLs will also contain juice. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add the contain option and here I'll add juice word which means the urls which contains juice in that will uh, come under this targeting and the audiences who have visited those links will come under this matched audience list right also you can apply and also or or condition or rule it is totally up to you if you want to add right now after applying these conditions you can just click on create and ag agree and create and your matched audience will be created now as you can see website visitor status is not showing right now because it can take around 48 hours to populate the data also the website connection also should be proper right now let's say after getting or after pulling the data, the status show that this list has around 500 users or 500 audiences in this particular list. So obviously I can't run ads on those 500 audience only because if I run ads using those 500 audience of list, basically list of those 500 people only. So it will be too costly for me. Right. So what I can do is I can create a look alike audience of this particular audience list. Right. So let's say this audience list has 500 uh, audience. Right. So if I create a look alike audience of this list, LinkedIn will create me or LinkedIn will help me to create a list of maybe 100,000 users who have same habits or same activities like this particular audience list. That is known as lookalike. So in order to create a lookalike, I just need to select the list first and I can create on lookalike. But right now this list is not populated. That's why I'm not able to create a lookalike. Even if I click here, I'll be not able to create lookalike right now. This shows that unable to create lookalike audience, right? So in order to create lookalike audience, you should have at least 300 members or 300 audience uh, in your 
any of the list right so if you have 300 400 or maybe 1000 audience in any list you can create a look alike audience of that particular list so linkedin will help you to create a list bigger list basically with around 100000 or maybe 1 million users with the same habits same activities which uh, you have selected so that is what lookalike audiences so i hope matched audience and lookalike audience is cleared now now the third list or the third audience is saved audience so saved is basically the audience which you have saved in previous so whenever you have created or whenever you have run ads on linkedin you might have saved the audience so that you can use it later and that saved audience saves in this particular area and this is what the saved audience is so in future you can use this list in order to run more new campaigns or you can just check out the this list of saved audience in order to do better in linkedin marketing right so i hope you understood now that what is the basic difference or what is the main or key differences between matched audience lookalike audience and saved audience right if you still have any question any kind of confusion or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye